Hey out there, metal metalheads, rockers, punks, and whatever else uh, subcategory of subculture and subgenre of music you're into. It's another edition of Joel's Record Store in Panama. And uh, sorry I couldn't get these videos out to you sooner. We've been having trouble with the Wi Fi and also my computer, my mini laptop's not letting me upload from this Amazon Fire tablet but uh, just uh, give you a little quick update uh, my music collection is getting bigger and bigger I had to buy another milk crate for my ever expanding record collection and probably by this time next year I'll probably have to have a whole nother shelf and hopefully by then me and my parents will be moved to a better house in a better location and, uh, and that's never mind to me I'm just glad I'm not out on the street and I always have a place in Panama so these are my music VHS tapes I just ran out of room for these uh, there was so those are the only two sticking out so you know I don't even know if any of these are still playable but you know they are my treasures and then this next one it's just a bunch of just compilation tooth and nail uh, pachyderm records video stampede and metal mission hot metal 4 some uh, heavens metal video magazine and uh, these two are special to me even though they're not even real really metal really it's just like a it took it it, it was recorded in the late 90s and uh, and it's just mainly people from the Jesus movement from the 70s. You know, like Larry Norman, first, last chapter, was second chapter of Acts? I can't remember. Uh, who's the other guy? Um, Daniel. Daryl Mansfield, that's what I mean. Daryl Mansfield. And just a lot of the who's who. Carrie, Keith Green. Well, he passed away, but I think they were paying him props. And again, you know, it's a lot of the who's who from that 70s era of the Jesus movement. You know, when contemporary Christian music as we knew it was getting off the ground out of the... This is really insignificant. This is actually, this was sent to me by the guy from uh, Neil of uh, Screams of Chaos back in the 90s. And uh, it's, it's my treasure. And it's a video clip from a song he did for the one of the row compilation albums. And uh, yeah, that's that. But these are my treasures. And uh, this is where I keep all my 7-inch records. I have them kind of separated from the, the Christian records from the not-so-Christian records. And uh, again, you know, it was... I had something else in there, but I... It was a box of CDs I have to sort out, and uh, so I had to move it. And yeah, my record collection again are getting fat, getting bigger. So I had to get another case. And uh, these are my amps. And my most recent CDs. I was actually going to order these, but uh, you know, by a luck of fate, you know, for my last visit to the UK, let me put these over here and get them out of the glare. I know the illumination in this room sucks. Sorry about that. But uh, these are two uh, Christian thrash metal albums. I had the cassettes growing up as a kid, especially that one. And uh, Perpetual Defiance from, this was released in, uh, I believe, 1990. It was recorded in 90 and re released in early 91. About the same time as Seventh Angel and Company. Again, it's just, you know, straight no frills thrash metal. Or that UK thrash sound happening at the time. And this one came out, you know, when I was just almost done with high school. And uh, I've been wanting this one for ages and never got a hold of it. But, you know, thankfully it's been reissued. I wanted the vinyl, but Rocks Records sold out of them. So it was too little, too late. But at least I got it on a, you know, this format. Yeah, plus, you know, bonus, is that bonus track? Yeah, I always have bonus tracks on reissues. One of the songs I like is like a kind of like a that pirate song or say it's a and where and what's that song? 
yeah, Sailor's Farewell. I mean, that was my favorite track on the whole album. And I know I just gave it a couple spins, and I'm going to file it away in the collection like everything else. I actually got some music that made it home that didn't get ripped off like uh, last summer. And, uh, of course, now that's another thing. And uh, this, my my friend uh, Michael Brizak is currently in the band. He was in the other video where he's showing the records. He's been playing with these guys for now. And that's his band. He's had a couple, some extras. I took some to the local rock club in in town in La Chorera, Panama. And so these are a couple extras. I'm just, I'm going to take these to the States. And these are just, you know, comp promo CDs. Because, you know, I'll, I'll meet some other metalheads, you know, wherever I go in the KC area, wherever, and, you know, mail them out. And I'm sure they'll dig it. But anyway, that's it for... Joe's Record Store. Sorry I couldn't get these videos to you sooner. And uh, so likely by the time you see all my recent vids, I'll be back in the KC area, you know, later in, yeah, by the end of this month in February. All right, uh, thanks again. Stay metal.